Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create these really cool wipe transitions in Final Cut Pro 10. Now, if you're going down in the description below and you realize, wait a minute, where is the download link? There is no download link. This is actually completely built into Final Cut Pro 10, which I think is a really cool, you know, feature. I used to kind of you, um, create these wipes uh, manually with like the shape mask and the graduated mask. Little did I know these actually are built into Final Cut Pro 10. So I'm gonna go over and basically show you how to actually find these and then a couple little things you can do with these transitions to customize them. So as you can see right here, I'll just kind of show an example right here. I'll go ahead and just delete this transition right here. So as you can see, basically what it is, it's just two photos back to back, and that's it right there. Just literally just two photos. So you want to just import two photos. Obviously, you know, you could be um, a video too. What you want to do is you want to head over here to this transition icon right here. Go to this transition icon, scroll all the way to the dap, um, all the way down right here to wipes right here. So you want to scroll all the way down to wipes right here, and then as you can see right here, here are all your different wipes um, right here so it's gonna go through your different wipe transitions right here and then I'm just gonna take this one right here take the transition and then voila just apply it um, onto your or in between your two photos right here and then if I play it right here voila you have this really cool um, kind of wipe transition uh, right there next one I'll go over is customization right here so you have a lot of customization when it comes to the different transitions so if I go over right here and I'll just enable the show horizon if I click on the transition right here I can go ahead and just change the angle right here so now it has now it's doing um, opening um, horizontally so you can actually change the different angles of the transition right here so if I play it right here as you can see it opens um, right there horizontally or if I want to go like this I can actually just take the angle drag the angle up here and then line it up with a line right here and now it's opening up vertically so you can basically just um, customize the angle right there and then voila there you go as you can see you can even have it open horizontally or you can have it um, open vertically right there and then of course you can go ahead and you know, mess with more stuff but I just want to go over one example right here also right here same thing here with this wipe transition um, right here. So you go ahead and select it right here. I can again move the angle. So let's say I want it coming um, from this side. So it's really cool to be able to just move um, the different angles. You can see right here, now it's coming from um, the opposite direction right here. So it's just really, really cool that you can have these, your, your uh, these transitions are very customizable and you can really kind of customize them um, and get the look that you want. Um, right there, which I think is a really, really um, nice feature. Um, right there, the thing I want to go over to is this clock transition right here. As you can see right here, this is what it looks like right here. And basically, what you could do is you can adjust the feather right here. So if I go over here to edge treatment right here, I can now adjust the feathering. Um, right there, so you can adjust the feathering of the transition. I found that five looks really good um, for the clock transition right there. That's just my personal. Um, preference. So what I can do right here is I can go ahead and click on the transition and click on Control D 10 and basically what you did right there was I just sped up the transition. So now if I play it right here this is what it looks like. The transition comes in a lot faster. So you can actually um, adjust um, the duration or how fast you want the transition to be. Okay, the next one I'll go over is how to basically animate the photos right here. So if I select all these photos right here, I'm going to go and click on Option G right here. And then as you can see right here, I'll just call this Photo um, Slideshow right here. All I did right there was I basically just created um, a compound clip. That way I can just animate um, the scale. So if we go right here, I'll just uh, disable the Show Horizon Grid. And now what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to animate it using the Ken's Burn. So I'll go to Crop right here, go to Crop over here, and then go to Ken Burns right here. And now I'm going to show you uh, an extreme example. So we'll start zoomed out, and then I'm going to take the end right here, and I'm just going to move um, the end right here so basically all you're just doing is you're animating it now this is going to be an extreme example it's going to be zooming in you know really really close so it depends on you know your different photos but what i'm trying to do is basically just show you you know kind of like exaggerate it and really try to give a, a proper demonstration of what it's doing um right up there so kind of wait for final cut pro 10 to render it right here and then as you can see right here if i play it right here as you can see there you go the photo is zooming in 
um, right there, as you can see right there, it's literally just um, zooming in right here. But so you can basically add the Ken's burn effect to basically animate the photos right there. You can see it's zooming in, so you have it zooming out, zooming in more, zooming in less. It all depends. But you want to basically create all these, tr uh, take all these photos, create the, tr uh, import the transitions, create it all into one big compound clip, and then animate it with a Ken Burns effect. And then you have this really cool photo zoom effect. Obviously, you, know, you can adjust it. I just wanted to give you a brief example and just show you basically how that zoom in um, effect is created. The next one I'll go over is basically just how to fix a problem. And the next two things I want to go over is basically just problem solving. I just want to show you a couple of things that you might run into when you're working with these wipe transitions. The first one is the idea of you can't create a transition. So option G right here, let's name this photo one. And then right here, um, option G two right here. Now you want to be careful when you create a compound clip. Now there are ways to fix it, but as you can see right here, I can't drag the compound clip out right there. It's, I can only drag what's inside of the compound clip. So compound clips are a little bit dangerous and I wouldn't create a compound clip until you're pretty sure you're finished um, with everything because you're, you're very kind of limited with a compound clip because everything is grouped in. So just be careful when you create a compound clip. Wait till you're pretty much you know finished um, with your edit right there. So you can see right here, okay, so let's say I create a compound clip right here. Now I want to basically go to wipe right here. As you can see, here's a wipe transition. Let's just apply onto the clip right here. And a message will pop up, not enough media to create a transition. So basically, now what you want to do is you want to basically go to the end of the first clip. And now we're just going to trim this back um, one second right here. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and show you kind of what kind of demonstrate what I'm trying to do. So if I click in between these two cuts right here, as you can see, here's the precision, um, here's the precision editor um, right here. And basically the reason I couldn't create a transition is there's no media in the beginning and there's no media at the end. So Final Cut has nothing to transition out of and transition into. There's no media right here and there's no media right here. So there's no way for Final Cut to create that transition. So what I need to do is I need to go to the end of the first clip and then I'm just going to trim this back, let's say about one second right here, and then go to the beginning of the second clip right here, and then just trim this right here. Now if I open the precision editor right here, um, well, I'll open the compound clip, if I can try to get a, open up the precision editor right here, as you can see, there you go. There's media right here, and there's media right here. And Final Cut's gonna use this media and this section right here to transition into, and then transition out of right there. So if I go over here, um, uh, go over right here and now if I can go ahead and just go back to the transition right here go down to wipe now I can apply a transition and there you go because there's media in the beginning and media at the end of the different um, compound clips right here now if I go over right here and I play it right here voila right there it's a, little, uh, it's a little bit laggy but there you go that's literally what it looks like right here so as you can see, there we go. It creates a really cool white transition. So that's why you can't um, create a transition. You need media in the beginning and you need media at the end to transition into and transition um, out of. Another problem I want to go over is a problem that I incur, uh, kind of say encountered with this um, transition right here. Now you might not always encounter this, but I want to basically just cover this in the video. This is a problem that you may run into. So if I go over right here, I'll go ahead and just disable the bottom one right here. As you can see, here are black bars, and this really, really annoyed me because I couldn't figure um, figure out how to fix this. And basically, just basically creating a copy, and there you go, you fix the problem right here. So if I go and just um, go to the bottom right one right here, as you can. See See right here here's just a compound clip out of the different transitions out of the photos and then voila as you can see right here uh, if I play it right here it looks perfectly fine there are no black trans uh, no black borders but if I uh, when I create as you can see right here it's a, it's the these um, clips are exactly the same however when I add a Ken Burns effect right here as you can see right here uh, the photo is zooming out right here when I add a Ken Burns effect it creates those black um, creates those black borders so what I need to do is I need to have a copy right uh, this is the original clip right here and if I create a copy and I add the Ken's burn effect I need to have a copy of it down below to fill in those gaps right here see without the copy right here you would have those black bars so you need a copy but that cop this down below basically these are the same clips this one has a Ken's burn effect and this one doesn't have a Ken's burn effect you need one without the Ken's burn effect that way you don't want to any of those black border um, just so that this doesn't look very um, weird. 
And that's pretty much it right there. All you want to do is go over here to transition right here, go to wipes right here, and then as you can see, here are all of your different um, wipe transitions right here. So you have a wipe right here, and then you have you know a circle transition right here, and of course you can go through um, and customize them, but that's pretty much it. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video, hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you do these types of videos, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 260 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.